Alright, so apparently this is the best funnel I can find for putting the coolant in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some distilled water and clean it off. Clean it with some distilled water so, it's, so we don't um, get any impurities in it. Ah, and once then it gets dark on me. I thought it would be darker, it would get darker less sooner, but uh doesn't seem to be the case quite yet. Alright, so let's get it in there. Just press it down in there so you get a good seal. Uh, this is the one that I did use in that video that I watched, that YouTube video. I highly suggest you watch that if you're trying to try to attempt this, but uh, I guess uh, my little video will be good also. And then uh, start filling that bad boy up. Alright, so this is the coolant that came from the, the, the plug from the back of the block, and uh, not a lot came out. Uh, it could be because the car's on a level surface now, I don't know, but uh, that's all. It's like a ne really negligible amount. I mean, yeah, you should probably try to drain the block, but not really. <laughs> but, um, yeah, like I said, it's negligible. I'm not even going to count it. Um, I mean, I'll, I'll pour it in, but... Some dirt in there, too. Really, nothing. So uh, what came out of the reservoir was more than that. So, all right, here we go. Also, uh, there's a bleed valve here that you got to be watching. Um, so I got this hose hooked up to it. I barely got it to fit. It's not that. It's not long enough, but it's long enough to go to the reservoir. It's a good thing. So I'm just stick it in the reservoir for now. I didn't. The reservoir should be empty, so that's good. But. Let's uh, put it somewhere higher first so we can get those bubbles out. Let's stick it up here. Or whatever. Do whatever you want. Stupid hose. Alright, there you go. <laughs> and then there, you need a 6 millimeter uh, Allen wrench. Uh, I had these pliers and the wrench to get it open. It was quite stuck. And then uh, I'm not really sure how much to open it, but uh, count how many turns. I did, I did the uh, wow. two, uh, I'd say two and a half is good. I'll do two and a half. All right. So, so yeah, so when that starts filling up, I'm just going to start dumping that in there. So here we go. Here's a, here's a super long life coolant, the good stuff. So also I made sure that the plug is on the back of the block is uh, full, I mean uh, tight. So this is what's going to take so long. Uh, so if it's not going down, what you should do is squeeze the radiator hose. There you go. And then once more air gets into the system, it should just go straight down. And just rinse and repeat. Pour it in. Squeeze the radiator hose. Squeeze some more. Reason. I don't know what it is that holds it in there, but let's keep on doing that. So we do know, we definitely do know we're going to go through this whole gallon right here. Maybe if you don't fill it too much. Oh yeah, I don't know why. Yeah, it's the, like a... There's like kind of like a suction that holds it in. So you can either do that, you can just put in a little at a time and let it trickle down. Because it's uh because like the, the suction holds it in. Or you can do what I'm doing, just pour it in until the sucker's full. And then squeeze the radiator hose. And that that kind of creates that vacuum effect. 
So every time I squeeze it, it goes up and goes down. Looks like it's getting harder too. There's the other hose right here. Maybe if I squeeze that one, it'll go down faster. Let's try. There we go. So the other hose is better. Oh, I don't know. No, that's a top radiator, radiator hose. I don't know. Just just alternate. If the other one doesn't want to go down, then uh, squeeze the other hose. that coolant moving around in there, you know? Squeeze this other hose. So basically you're just kind of like letting it go in and out, in and out, in and out. I can actually feel the, the water going into the hose. That's the one that goes to the engine though, so... So the other one will probably be better to squeeze out. Yeah, so so what it looks like you want to do is squeeze this hose right here near the inverter, the big one. Squeeze it. And then squeeze the other one if it's just alternate. Yeah, see? If you kind of alternate squeezing the hoses, it works real good. See this air coming out. All right, so the next trick after this is to run the electric pump. So you can fill the thermos up. So make sure this is nice and full. Well, first, yeah, first I would do the squeeze the hose trick. So that one's not doing anything. I'm going to go back to this other hose. Squeeze this one. It's going in and out. So that's pretty much it. For the squeeze the hose trick. It's not wanting to go down anymore. Nothing is coming out of the bleeder hose yet. So there's another trick that we can give him his credit. Um, this guy is a Reed DJ Sond. DJ Red Reed. <laughs> this is Reed. Reed. Reed just Sond. Is a. This is his a. Uh, that's his video. Well, that's the video where I found out this trick that you can use the the um, coolant heat uh, storage. Uh, this is called a CHS. So it's a coolant heat um, storage. It's a, basically a thermos. And you pull this relay out, the one that goes to CHS in the, in the little relay thing right here. And uh, and then you just you jump these two right here. So what I'm using are these little uh, spade connectors that I happen to have in my my um, my electronics toolbox. So I just put that in the top horizontal ones. Try not to get your finger in between both of them, or else you might get shocked. And you just like uh, you just press it, and you can hear that, right? And you can see the coolant starting to go down. And it works pretty good. So right now, so you can you can hear that sound coming from the bottom here. And uh, so, so the wires aren't very thick on these test leads. So, um, but this is what I'm doing. Basically, you're just jumping it. You could probably use a paper clip or something, but you don't. They said you don't want to run it more than like probably 10 seconds at a time because it's not good for the pump, and it's probably it'll probably um, your it pulls like two or three amps. It may not be good enough for the for these wires. These wires might start smoking or something. So there you go. So it's sucked in all the coolant now. And I'm just going to keep on doing that. I'll do it one more time for you. So I'm going to fill it up. And 
until it will not go down anymore. And basically what it's doing is it's sucking the coolant into the thermos. The one, the one, uh, this, this one, the one that almost filled the gallon up, it's sucking it in there. So there you go. Okay, I'm going to turn it on. And you're going to see it, the bubbles. See, it's going down. I'm going to run it for like, don't run it for more than like 10 seconds. And then I guess you can go do the alternating, squeeze the radiator hose, squeeze this other hose. It's a, so I heard this takes a long time. This is a long process. <laughs> and go back to this guy. Anything you can do to get the coolant to go in there. And I heard after a while, after a while you will hear the pump start to sound different. Yeah, it's going down. Squeeze the hose. There you go. That's the rest of it. Uh, it probably... It's probably not helping that the that this uh, doggone uh, funnel is so small. <laughs> it's like really a uh, the hole is very small. I should be using something bigger like this maybe, but but it, uh, I don't have anything that makes a good enough seal in there, you know. And then uh, and then it'll start going down into to the coolant reservoir too. So so uh, yeah, it's, it's just gonna take a lot of patience, sir. <laughs> if you can find a funnel, I have I, and I have a box full of funnels at home, my other house, but. If you can find one that fits there and it's the exact same size as that, and if it creates a good seal, then I would use that. But this is what I had. This is supposed to be for like filling up uh, gas tanks with additives and stuff. This is, you can poke it into your fuel tank. All right, so yeah. So I'm just going to keep on doing it. Um, I think I've gone through about half a gallon so far. I'm expecting to use that whole gallon. All right, so. So I've gone and did the squeeze the hoses and the... Uh, Flip the electrical pump, and now it seems like it's going down a lot faster now. Look at that. I hope it's not leaking out somewhere, but uh, look at that. So it looks like you got that kind of like that vacuum in the system is gone now. Still got no air coming out of the hose, the lead hose. It's kind of alarming, but okay, it's just swallowing up this gallon now. There, so kind of stop now. And we got to do the whole same drill, squeeze the hoses. As we know. Oh, oh, shit. Okay, there we go. So it's like pretty, the radiator is pretty full right now. I just saw the hose, I just saw the, the water come up. So now we know that the radiator is full now. It's totally full. Totally. Totally. Okay. Uh, yeah. So now they're saying. Uh, so now they're saying to put this in the reservoir or something. This is a good idea. So all the all the excess the the bleed air will come out and fill that up. But uh. So now we know there's like no more air in there. But uh. But uh. Now. Now the problem is. I still have coolant. I still have coolant. Uh, I'm sure. Uh, I'm sure this, the rest will go in that reservoir, though. But let's keep on filling it up. So there we go. That's the whole gallon right there. One whole gallon gone, swallowed up. And this doesn't seem to be stopping either. So, so now we know our radiator is full. Now we just have to do this again. see it going down oh there you go so you saw like you, the the sound of the pump change there so now you know now we know we're sucking stuff into the thermos so now we got to go open up our next one 
So it looks like I've been at this about since 5 and it's about 8.30 right now. 8.30 as you can see. Um, so it's been about 3 hours already. And the mechanics really only charge like an hour or two. So I don't know if that's how long it will take them. I'm not sure it will probably take them longer because they have to bleed the system. This takes a long, long time. So here we go, second gallon. So uh, this uh, this guy's method works pretty well, pretty well. So now you can tell. See, it's uh, it, the all the air bubbles are gone. Though we still need to get thing out of the system, though. On filling pretty much almost two gallons have to be gone almost there should be maybe just maybe like a quarter left I can see a lot going into the reservoir right now too so maybe uh maybe I want to pin close this off for now I don't know but uh Oh, there we go. Hear that? So it just displaced that extra coolant that was in the thermos. We gotta make sure it doesn't suck air. We have to keep the coolant. We gotta keep the coolant filling as fast as we can. See, it's coming. It's going in really quick now. So you know you just got rid of like a huge air bubble. Look at that. Just drinking it, drinking it. It's not stopping either. Oh, I think it's stopping. Pretty good. Oh, there. So now, uh, so, oh shit. Where's this coming from? Hold on. I got a coolant leak. I don't know why Somewhere. it was leaking. Um, it still kind of is leaking. I think it's leaking from... It seems like when I... When I loosen this, it's leaking from here for some reason. I don't, I don't know why. But just leave that to, like, kind of let the, let the air out. But So, just kind of been at it for a little bit. There we go. You can hear it pumping now. do its thing so yeah I think it was leaking from here I don't know why yeah there you can hear the pump it sounds a lot different now and I went ahead and filled up the reservoir it's full now I'll just open this every once in a while To make sure all the air is out. Yeah, I heard I heard a drippy drop when I opened that, so I'm assuming that's what that is. And then just hit this again. Squeeze the hoses. Looks like we're getting pretty close to where we need to be. We're about half right now. I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze the hose. Look at how much goes in there. 
Still plenty of coolant to this place. Squeeze the other hose. Oh yeah, look at that. Hit the pump. Just, just a combination of that will get the coolant going. It's quite tedious work. I'll tell you that now. Looks like it's doing pretty good. Alright, so I think I've, uh, I think I nailed it. That's it. Oh no, there's still some bubbles. But, uh, not as much anymore. So I think it's about time where we, we start running the, um, we start running the, the car. That's not doing anything anymore. So I'm thinking that's full. Still get a couple bubbles from here, but I still I'm trying to use up the rest of this coolant so I don't have to waste it, you know. And it's gonna make a big mess. Alright. Let's open up the bleed valve a little bit. No, there's no more bubbles coming out of that. So that should be good. So well, it's done. That's it. No more is going in there. And I squeeze this, a couple little bubbles come up. It's not, not enough to thing though. Oops. Alright. So I think that's it. That's it. I gotta get rid of all this excess coolant somehow. That's it. Game over. Uh oh. Okay. I don't know. I'm just gonna let the car run <laughs> until it warms up. Until it warms up, where the heater will come up. So I already got a check engine light. That's no good. So I'm just going to run it until the heater turns on and then check the coolant again. There we go. Oh wait, no, it's still on. Hopefully that will go away. Or uh, another thing you can do is uh, you can, uh, you can, um, what is it, uh, you can just step on the gas pedal. If you step on the gas pedal it forces the the internal combustion engine to go on. Oh, well, you press it on when you're in D. So let's see if I step on it, the engine RPM goes higher. So we, 
we want to do is we want to wait. Well, they're already getting heat out of the, already getting heat. That's good. That's a good thing. So I think we're good. Um, so what we're going to have to do is see, so you see it was charging earlier. Now it's not charging. What it's trying, what the car is trying to do is it's trying to, um, it's trying to get the heater hot. So by, by running the motor more, it's going to heat up the coolant more. And that's why when you, um, that's why when you drive on cold mornings and you turn the heater on full blast, you're, you're wasting a lot of gas because it's forcing that internal combustion engine on. So that's a little tip for if you drive a Prius, you want to save some gas. Um, uh, don't run your heater right away. Like one So what I want to do is run the heater right now until uh, till it's uh, until the engine shuts off. At least we know the coolant will have circulated and everything. And, well, we got we got coolant going through the engine, so. Let's get those last small pockets of air out of there. That's pretty, that's pretty much it though, so... Successful! It's actually not as hard as I thought, it's just tedious. You have to go, you know, you have to squeeze both of the radiator hoses and then prime the pump. So if you do that combination and then you, you let the bleed valve open... I don't know why, mine was leaking from the bleed valve, I don't know why. But um, hopefully it won't be leaking anymore. Actually, I should check it while it's running. But uh, I'm gonna go button up the... Gonna, while the while it's warming up, I'm gonna go button up the bottom of the car. All this stuff that I took out, the plastic panels, and uh, just check for leaks. I don't think it's leaking anymore. Yeah, but it was like leaking right here. I, guess, I don't know why. Quite a bit too. But uh, yeah, we pretty much used up all our coolant. It's um, well, I got about like a quarter left. Is, is what it seems. It's hard to tell. I wish there was a little uh, what. What's the point of having these, uh, you know, these little um, measurement thingies if uh, if you can't see how it's, what the level is in there, right? You kind of have to guess, and it's and it's black, so no light is gonna go through it. Way to go, Toyota! And this stuff is so expensive too, yeah. So it's about right here, about where I expected it to be. That's about like one and three quarters right there, so I'd expect to, to use uh, one and three quarters here. So I got about a quarter left in here, so. That will be top off fluid. I got fluid to top off. Still running. So that's it. It is a mega out. Mission accomplished. So we just gotta kind of drive it, and then I have to see if I can get rid of that check engine light. Uh, hopefully it goes away on its own. I gotta take this hose out still. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, clean up. Basically, pretty much done. It wasn't as hard as I thought. Um, the inverter, I will let uh, <laughs> I will let uh, a service technician take care of that. <laughs> He's gonna go. So yeah, the car stopped, finished running, and uh, it stopped. So I went and turned it off, and I took the radiator cap off, and it's empty, empty, empty about to the top of the neck. So um, I think that means it's full. Yeah, because this is the top of the radiator. Top of the radiator is right around here, so maybe I gotta add a little more coolant. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do. I think I want to get the funnel. Yeah, I probably want to get the funnel. Let's add a little bit. That's pretty much it, though. Say mission accomplished. Probably turning it off and getting that that thermos cycling the the coolant will help get the stuff out. Oh, it's full again. All right. Just close the cap again and then run the cool run the engine again. Just do that until. Make sure there's no uh, bubbles anymore. So that's it. 